Hello everyone and thank you for watching. This is Hadrian. Let's play some more Total War Tilla in our Crown of Charlemagne series and let's kick the crap out of Nitra. Nitra. However you pronounce it. Doesn't matter, it's about to die. So we've got some heavy siege engines built for the first time in the campaign. The first time in Total War Tilla period for me, so this will be interesting. These guys do have some artillery, it appears, but all of their units are extremely weak. And we have reinforcements. So this battle will probably be over fairly quickly. Famous last words. Alright, weather is crappy. No, it's not. It's dry. Perfect. Alright, so looks like... Yeah. Okay, we've, we've fought on this kind of city map before. Let's look at these heavy siege towers, shall we? Oh, man, look at that. Metal plating all up and down the front of these things. That is intense. All right. So who is in our siege towers, by the way? It looks like our swordsman. Oh, we don't even need the siege towers. The walls have already been knocked down by the siege. That's cute. Well... That's what the siege towers look like, guys. <laughs> Yay for anticlimactic moments. We don't need artillery either. Except maybe to just rain fire from a distance. Alright, reinforcements will be coming in behind us. We're going to have all of our cavalry together. I'm going to try and resolve this battle pretty quickly. Especially now that I know that my... Um, siege engines that I was so excited about building are, like, completely useless. Alright. Our reinforcements enter the fray! Wow, a lot of damage on that first hit. All right, let's go ahead and get moving. Their artillery is definitely hitting me. Our artillery is definitely hitting them. Let's go ahead and pay their artillery a visit, shall we? So we're marching our entire army as we formed it up. We've been hit hard a couple of times. That doesn't look pretty. So they have another artillery up here on the top. Our reinforcements have arrived. We are going to form a new group. So all of our horses are now going to hide out right there, including the horses from the reinforcements, which are coming right there. We're going to leave the rest of our reinforcements back here. We don't need them. But our horses will be used to help clean up once we have done a little bit of damage with our melee troops, which are lining up against the wall right now. So their artillery is firing on me from above. Good. One of those machine gun towers is down. Tell you what, we're going to go ahead and move in. Let's 
Let's go ahead and do some damage to these guys. Alright, so these cavalry here are already nervous about what I just threw at them. Perfect. The gates have completely burned to a crisp. These cavalry are running. Of course they are. Okay. All right, we're going to bring our cavalry in to take care of these artillery. Meanwhile, the rest of the army... Good, that'll reduce their morale. So our cavalry are going to go up and take care of whatever's going on up here. Because it's doing damage. I mean, I've actually lost a good amount of men. And I just noticed that. I wasn't expecting to have to pay too much attention to the health of my units. I have been thoroughly corrected. Here come the cavalry, literally. Oh, there's a barricade up. That's wonderful. So these lancers are dying. We're going to try and take out all of their artillery right now. Because they have their artillery is what's spread throughout the town and peppering my men. But now they realize they're in trouble. Just lost a couple of horses. So this is what's going to be interesting about fighting in Total War Attila, both in this and future campaigns. Guys, you're supposed to be a. Do you see what's happening? <laughs> I told them to attack that barricade, and they're just they're just not. So it's going to be interesting because as artillery become more and more of a factor with the enemies that I'm fighting, you'll start to see just more damage being done to my armies as I fight. Alright, so now I've got my cavalry converging on these two cavalry units from both sides, so they should be able to flank them and defeat them pretty quickly. And then we'll capture these gates as well, just so these towers stop machine gunning my cavalry. I really do hate towers in Total War Total. Alright, meanwhile, this barricade is finally down. Alright, these guys are done over here. Awesome. Alright, so we are doing quite well. It's the, it's just their general that's left. We've lost more men than I would have liked. Actually, it looks like this area wasn't barricaded, so I could have rushed up there much earlier. But that's fine. What I'm going to do is bring the cavalry in from behind. That's how this battle's going to end. Alright, so I've just ordered all of my troops up this hill. Let's watch. Meanwhile, my cavalry are going up this hill, taking control of this victory point. 
This is their general. I've got my archers already firing, as you can see from the arrows rolling in. Horses are not dropping, but they are getting hit. I've just ordered my cavalry to charge in from behind. You'll see them right there. Good. There it is. Well, let's go ahead and this, go ahead and end this battle. Four hundred three losses, more than I would have liked, but they lost three hundred thirty-seven, almost their entire force. They had a decent sized army, but it just, it was weak. Now that my units are so strong, it's, the rebels are getting steamrolled. All right, so let's occupy Nitra, Nitra, Nitra. <laughs> ah, Venice is taking control of an area back here. All right, so it looks like I might have to go ahead and go to war with Venice. <laughs> uh assuming that that is in the cards. We'll see. All right, so this general, let's give him some more campaign movement range and battle movement speed. Just raw ability. And let's... Oh, I don't have any money left to repair stuff. That's a shame. We'll end the turn, and we'll repair stuff next turn really nice to just be able to move so quickly down through this bottom part of the map. Now let's repair. This is just a... Tell you what, let's convert you to... Yeah, we'll just have it be a normal city. Have these guys fortify so they don't take any winter attrition. And it looks like we can build something in Lorch. Let's build... What are we going to build? Let's build a guardhouse. Public order seems to be doing pretty well here in Bohemia. So we completely control the eastern side of the map now. With the exception of this, which is kind of more southeastern. But yeah, Venice controls these areas here, and there's some rebel control. So actually, there's the Avars, there's not much left of them. There's this province. So it's really Venice that I need to go to war with. So who are they allied with is the question. If anyone. I have a good relationship with them because I'm trading with them. You will find me a willing and attentive audience for your speech. Give tongue to your word. All right, so we've ended our trade agreement with them. Wartan is 70. He's probably going to die pretty soon. I feel like he's outlived his father, Charlemagne. Alright, so we've ended treaties with them. If we declare war, people will not be happy about it. People will, tr will not trust me very much. So we won't do that just yet. Now, notice our income did drop. Trading with Venice is a lucrative affair. But we're also, I think, recruiting. So that's all that's affecting our income. We beg for a treaty. No, I don't care that you beg. I really don't. I don't think you understand how little I care. Alright. So let's go ahead and do some additional recruiting here. Okay, we do not have the capacity to build uh, artillery in Aachen. I didn't notice that. So we'll have to wait to fill out that army. Burraberg, you're doing okay. Alright, I do need to go ahead and put... 
yeah, put an army in Passau because public order is just suffering. And then we're going to move this army down from Iglau to Lurchk. So Bohemia is in good shape. We took it over very quickly and we're already able to... Um, let's hope it, we're going to move Warton right here. We're already able to leave it. Just leave it be. Public order has done quite well there. In one turn, the gallery will finish building, or the tribunal will finish upgrading as well. So that's going to help reduce corruption in the neighboring provinces. My priest, Wharton. Better authority, better cunning. So we'll be able to reduce corruption by 10% in this province next time that agent levels up. Okay. Oh, wow. The Avars have retaken this city. Was not expecting that at all. I think I can actually take... Alright, so they own Severia. Which I can hit this turn if I wanted to. I could take it easily. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and declare war on them. Declaring war while having traitors or shortly after breaking them is considered an act of treachery and is condemned by all factions. Uh, I guess I have a non-aggression pact with them. That's fine. I'll risk being condemned by all factions. Alright, so let's encircle that settlement. I think we're going to knock out the Avars in one fell swoop here. I'm going to do a protective assault here and just take Severia. There, that now belongs to us. Celestial Temple will be destroyed. Barracks. I'm going to destroy that mine because it's actually contributing to some squalor in Nitra. And now, I think we're about to eliminate the Cognate in one fell swoop. This is my first time fighting them, so I will fight it on the battlefield. We'll probably do this fairly quickly. Battle of Kibakaza. Eight... 4880. Is that the city we're attacking? I didn't see that it was called Kibakaza. Huh. Okay. I'm going to do what I like to do most, which is kind of sit back and see if they want to come to me. Charlemagne and his cavalry. I'll tell you what, we'll have one unit of cavalry here, one unit of cavalry here, and then... Not Charlemagne. I keep saying Charlemagne. That's Warton, his son. Alright, start the battle. Flaming, am flaming ammunition. Well, let's see if we can tempt them to come out and visit us. What's the range of our catapults? There. All right, we're going to speed up time. Yeah, they are coming out to see us. They have some artillery, but it's not in range. Go 
Come on, guys. You know you want to march. Please? Please come and march? Are you too weak? Are you too scared? Oh, no, there they are. Okay, they're waiting on one more unit. Yeah, they're waiting on a unit to fill that hole. Okay, perfect. All right, now let's unpause and see what happens now that they're charging us like idiots. Which is exactly what we wanted them to do. <laughs> okay. So this is the Avar Cognit. Maybe these are descendants of the Huns, perhaps, because they, the game are made to look the same. I, I don't know much about the Avars. Then again, Total War is not always completely historically accurate. They just have allusions to history and various things. All right, so there's our line of uh, artillery fire. Fireballs are going to start flying any second now. Like that. Oh, man. That was a nice opening hit. So this is a just an elementary defending force. This is not much compared to what I'm throwing at them. These are extremely paltry cavalry units, but we'll I'll play your game. All right, so that cavalry unit's already gone. We're going to let Wharton come out and play. The archers are firing. Oh, wow. That entire unit just got leveled. This is ugly. Artillery, stop firing. Second thought, this might not have been the best idea. Let's chase off these artillery before something terrible happens. Alright, thankfully, this guy, there's only two left. Good. Let's try and take out... Alright, good. They are no longer able to fire any artillery. Just got to take out this unit and this, these guys. That was close, though. Too close for comfort when it comes to the health of our emperor. Speaking of too close for comfort... Let's go pay those artillery guys a visit. need to take those guys out and those guys. Those are skirmisher cavalry, so they're just running for life, for their dear life. Alright. So we're going to take out this tower and take out this artillery in one fell swoop. End battle. Perfect. 
nice decisive victory to control the Avar Kargan. And I think that's it. That should be the end of them. The elite of Taugast, led by Sineon. Oh no, they still control. They still have this area here. So their capital is still theirs. Now we have a bunch of other rebel-controlled areas to take in the next episode, and I look forward to doing that. But for now, I'm going to cut this episode here. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I upload new episodes in a grand strategy, history, flavor, every day at noon EST. The current series is, of course, Crown of Charlemagne. EST, of course, is GMT-5 for those of you who need to adjust based on Greenwich Mean Time. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.